we say it's like yoga, kind of like you just focus and three hours go by like that. Eric Bertelston and his crew of fellow model ship enthusiasts can spend hours, days, even years working on building these miniature maritime marvels. The ships take between six and 12 months to build. So they, they do take some time. The precision takes a lot of time. What began as a hobby several years ago, home port model ships moved into their forever shipyard in Peabody back in 2020. They usually have between three to five ships being built at any one time. And 90% of which are installed with remote control units so they can be sailed on the water. U.S. Navy frigate, this is actually going to Florida. Private collectors, corporations, museums, and those with special connections to particular ships are lining up to purchase these masterpieces. This is actually going to a customer in North Carolina. He asked it to be built a specific way because he was on this ship and remembers a lot of the details that are on the ship. It's that attention to detail that is critical to their building process. We try to get intimate knowledge of the ship that we're building so we know where those differences are. In many cases, they're actually using one-time classified Navy architectural plans when constructing these remarkable reproductions. So literally, we take this and divide by eight and know the height of each level of the mass that we're building. That stuff's very important. A sense of community is also important for Eric and his team by bringing what was traditionally a solitary hobby <laughs> to more of a group collaboration and setting sail together in this ever-growing business venture. I felt like there should be more of a community there to bring people out of the basement and to build in a joint fashion, share ideas with each other and build even better. Interestingly enough, there's also a Hollywood connection to home port model ships. Eric recently sold a Perry class frigate to one of the producers of the movie Hunt for Red October. Fans of that flick may remember the surface ship as the USS Reuben James. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, New Center 5.